Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So someone asked me a few days ago why people only use white or black as a base color and I thought that was a great question. Let's go ahead and try it out with a different color to see if it affects the colors of the painting or if it comes up through the painting because that's another thing that might happen. But what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to try this out and um, so I am going to use blue as a base coat here. And I am going to use corresponding colors, so colors that won't clash. This is a metallic purple, really pretty. And then this is kind of like a, a metallic kind of turquoise color. And I'm going to definitely use black as well. This is a 12 by 12 canvas, so I would need about nine ounces of paint. However, I am also going to put a base of blue paint, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'll do probably maybe about eight ounces or so. Okay, a little more white and a little more black, and then I think we're good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cover the base, the whole canvas here with blue. This is a nice bright blue. And I'm gonna also make sure I get all the signs We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a tree ring here. And I'm going to just dump it right in the middle, going nice and slow. Right. Probably won't need this whole cup of paint. That should be good. And now we go ahead and tilt. So, so far the blue is not interfering with our colors at all. As you can see, there's no blue in this tree ring here. I think though, as we let it sit, it will start to pop up through. So that is going to be our experiment. Let's go ahead and get this thing all covered. All right, well, if anything, this is going to be a super duper duper awesome painting. So far, tiny blue cells popping up over here in this corner. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit here for a while and I wanna see what cells might come through or not. So we shall be right back. Okay guys, we're back. So it's actually been about an hour. So you can see this blue that has popped up through here, but really not that much. So I find that interesting and I find it interesting that it's only on the corners and the edges. The only thing I can presume on that is where the paint maybe is a little bit thinner. I actually have no idea. That's just like a totally random guess. I am not like a scientist or anything, but I think it still looks amazing and it didn't really affect the outcome of the painting too much, but it is a good thing to know is that it can come up and come through your painting. So keep that in mind when you're deciding the base color to use. If you're going more 
light or dark or whatnot. I think the blue worked just fine in this case. I may retry this experiment again with a clashing color to see what effect it might have, like doing a blue base and then pouring oranges and yellows and reds on top of that or something like that, you know what I mean? Just to kind of see what happens. But there you go. There's my experiment for the day. And let's go ahead and do our close-up. Here's the lower right-hand corner. And I would think if for some reason you didn't want this, you could probably even just tilt that off. Uh, but look at these gorgeous rings in this one. Here's the upper right-hand corner. We just got two little baby cells there. Upper left-hand corner. Some more cells. Here's this middle part, and then the lower left-hand corner, which is just a corner that I didn't fully cover. So one little cell there, uh, but this blue on the corner is just because I didn't fully cover it. That's all. It didn't pop up through. <laughs> and there you have it. So don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.